Hi everybody, um, right just a quick video um, and this is not planned at all this is me um, putting together an S500 multi-rotor airframe, a quad frame from scratch, um, it's the first time I've opened the box up I've had <laughs> no experience in these before, well in these particular quads anyway um, I have not seen inside the box yet so I'm hoping it's all here but this is your typical cheap 15-20 quid quadcopter um, from Hobby King. So just unboxing it we have the legs, we have the arms, let's have a look what else is in this box. So there's the legs, there's the arms and okay boxer bits and bobs and ooh, the rest of it. So box away, hey! There you go, that's pretty much what's in the box. I'll get rid of that. So we have four legs. Alright, so we have the quadcopter frame, we have the box of bits, and we have the arms themselves. Um, yeah, don't look too bad. Um, similar to DJI, um, cheaper versions obviously. Um, pretty light, to be honest, so alright, let's get on with it. Hopefully uh, it will make a good video. Well, what we've got so far is the two screws there that hold the brackets on. The grub screw goes in the middle to hold the poles. Uh, that's how it looks underneath. So you've got the support brackets there for the plate, which is the next bit to go on. Um, so they're all in place. These are, you know, I don't know what they are actually. They're kind of, I think they're carbon. Yeah, carbon or, or something like that. So be very careful screwing your grub screws in because they make a hell of a crack when they go in to be honest they're quite scary so basically what we've got so far like i say we've got the brackets on the base plate and we have the poles on um do yourself a favor and put those on before you start to slide that second pole in seems easier to put it on that side to clip it on and then put the, the rod through and twist it 
so there you go they're in place and um, the grub screws in place um, I would also recommend on the plastic brackets using Loctite which I did um, for the simple reason that that is a metal screw going into a metal colour so yeah do yourself a favour and uh, obviously because of the vibration use yourself some Loctite excellent well carry on So there you go, next bit, I've uh, got the plate on now, um, I guess to hold the battery, <laughs> that would be the logical solution to me. Um, watch when you're doing these screws, these are the countersunk ones, they are the M2.5s, uh, it does show you on the instructions which screws to use, um, it's pretty well straightforward so you can see there you've got the 45 times 5 for that bottom plate and use the M2 5 by 6 for the top plate and everything, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Right, um, obviously I'm not putting the electrics on yet, that is going to be a job for another day uh, and I don't want to hamper myself too much by uh, you know, filling out uh, or covering up all the, all the places where I'm going to have to solder to but at the moment I think I look pretty much good um, so next bit is uh, next stick the legs on Alright, excellent <laughs> figure out if the legs go on the bottom or on the top it's not totally self-explanatory I'm guessing what happens is the legs go on there like that the two screws come through and they go on to there like that but they call me crazy that doesn't seem to fit uh, it probably does yeah but then you've also got to be honest um, all the movement um, I'm guessing does look a bit bizarre but I'm guessing the top plate holds the leg um, and it's only the two bottom screws that hold it doesn't seem to be anything really on the bottom plate that holds the leg so yeah it must be when you sandwich the whole stuff together so uh, I guess it makes it semi clear all right carrying on <laughs> sense um, yeah I was just a little bit concerned it seems quite flimsy but uh, yeah I guess to be honest once you've got the, the top on there and that's all bolted together then yeah it's going to be fairly sturdy and it's, it's holding it okay to be honest so that's pretty much it you've got two screws going through the bottom there as anything um, Chinese it's got extra screw holes in there that always confuse the hell out of you because they don't go anywhere but I guess it's these legs fit on multi things so obviously different holes and different patterns for different things but yep basically two screws in the bottom there like that and they are um, hex heads uh, 2.0 and they basically go into the bottom of the leg like that so right done one of them let's let's do them
Okay, well that wasn't so bad. Um, so it's yeah, it's looking fairly sturdy. Uh, a little bit of playing the legs, but pretty good to be honest. Obviously, all the arms are on there, so uh, yeah. So far, for I forget what it was, twenty odd quid, twenty five quid, doing all right. Um, so obviously, top plate goes on there, um, but uh, oh, and actually, it's got locking locking tabs in there as well. That's the first time I've seen something like that, so that's quite impressive. So that locks in there. They've got tabs there. Obviously, three screws per each leg. Um, and they all seem to line up okay. Um, so that will give you the basic hex cotter frame. Um, yeah, at the moment, I have to say that's that's not too bad at all. Um, again, uh, the instructions. Yeah, pretty much show you everything you got to do. Um, the screws, I have to say, big up to, to Hobby King or whoever makes these. Um, obviously I've got a lot of screws left over for, at the moment for putting the motors on and stuff like that but I've found that I've got one extra on the legs arms uh, one extra grub screw for holding in the, the carbon poles and one extra of the countersunk so um, yeah, makes a change not to have missing screws uh, so excellent, yeah, impressed with that so that's part one um, Obviously what I've got to look at now is breaking down my hex copter, taking all the bits off I need for that and starting to build this up. So obviously a lot of soldering to go on. Um, there's uh, all the motors to go on, the speed controllers and got to sort of cram everything into there that at the moment is sitting on my hex copter. Um, so that's it for now. Uh, hopefully you'll join me for part two. Cheers all.